Hey everybody, today I have the Hatsune Miku Flower Fairy Noodle Stopper. This is the first in the line. I think they've only announced one more after this. And the second I saw her face, I had to have her. I think this is, it's definitely my top three Hatsune Miku faces, like, of all time, I think. Definitely for prize figures. She is so, so pretty. I got her for $25 on Tokyo Taco Mode. I honestly probably would have paid like anything but i think that's a great price so she is based on flowers and a fairy i guess maybe just in the aesthetic but i think they should have given her wings and so on tokyo taco mode you also get a pre-order bonus for her which i'm guessing is either a postcard or a clear file but it's of the artwork for this so something like this so here's the top, the flower she's based off of. And I feel like they're making just a bunch more noodle stoppers in general, but especially for Hatsune Miku, which is really fun. So let's get her out. All right, so here's the pre-order bonus. I think it's just a postcard, it's double-sided. So, so pretty. I think they were really happy with how she came out or really confident because we don't really get like a lot of pre-order bonuses for her so i'm just so glad that this was included especially because i'm just obsessed with this design her face i really hope they didn't change anything with her because i always feel like the prototype just looks so much more better so so pretty all right and then her figure oh my goodness Alright, I'm starting to see a few flaws just like right out of the gate in her hair. Maybe I can fix that. But her face is so, so pretty. She is kind of tiny. I'll bring over some other Miku figures I have to compare her to. Look at the nail polish on her hand. And then her hair. Uh, this is probably why the box was so big. Let's sit her down. Oh no, there's a bit of paint on her back. Oh my goodness. Her design just screams fairy. I do wish they had given her wings, but I can just imagine her in a really pretty garden. I also love that they gave her just a tiny bit of heel. I'm personally not a fan of flats, and that's usually what she's wearing, but just like a tiny little bit of heel, so, so cute. They also have a bit of asymmetrical thing going on, which I think is also pretty common in Miku figures. Very, very pretty, and I just, man, they really just went all out with this design, I think, making it different enough, but also just still really pretty really aesthetic all the little pearls going along with the flowers and a really pretty one in the back the long gloves so so gorgeous she is really tiny especially compared to the other miku figures i have the closest in comparison would be this 2009 sega figure Probably just because their faces are the closest, but everything else, like especially her hands, everything is way smaller. My goodness, I love the range of expressions. I think she's just so different than any other Miku figure I have, and I'm so glad that we're getting just like so many more varied designs and everything for Miku. That's one of the things I just love about her. Especially in my collection, she is very, very different than all the other ones. I do want to give her some fairy wings. I think that would really go along with her design. That'll have to be another day, though. One more thing is that the artist's name is printed on the bottom of her shoe. So cool. Nice that it's out of the way, but still there. And... Their name is all over the place, obviously, but right here it's on, it's in English. I 
I'm gonna guess here, but I think this is the same name. Could be two different artists, but just such a great figure. Maybe eventually I will get the whole line, but definitely not right now. And then I'll leave all the links that you need um, to find her and to find more information about her in the description. Thank you for watching. Bye!